How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks and welcome to Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo by Capcom. Welcome to Agrabah, city of mystery, of enchantment, of waiting for slow text to scroll. Hurry up. The finest merchandise this side of the River Jordan. I don't have the Robin Williams voice, unfortunately. <laughs> I can see that you are only interested in the exceptionally rare. I think, then, you would be most rewarded to consider this. Like so many things, it is not what is outside. But what is inside that counts. I like how they're taking the script like straight up from Aladdin. That's cool. This lamp once changed the course of a young man's life. Cut out a bit. They originally said, I think, this is no ordinary lamp. Oh. All these Disney games, they have, like, that border for their stories. It's, like, such a thing back in the 90s. Hell, <laughs> even Gazim gets his own little sprite there. After all my years of searching, at last! The Cave of Wonders! Now remember... Of oh, Jafar, he's my favorite, like Disney villain, one of them anyways. The rest of the treasure is yours, but the lamp is mine. <laughs> Boing! It's like Mario. <laughs> Yahoo! I get the lamp for you, Jafar, yeah. Oh my god, I haven't seen this opening in years. I used to play this a lot, actually. Um, one of my first speedruns. It's still on Speedrunner's Archive. Who disturbs my slumber? It is I, Kazim. A humble thief. Know this. Only one may enter here. <coughs> this is killing my voice. One whose worth lies deep within. Is it a diamond in the rough? The diamond in the rough. Oh no! So, only one may enter. I must find this one. This diamond in the rough. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried's like, ah! I could never do his voice. His voice is like untouchable, man. Yay, Disney's Aladdin. Oh man, I love this game. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Cool, let's do it. Amazing, amazing game. Yay! Oh, I love it. So, the big question, the one that everyone's going to ask if I don't answer it, is what's the better game, Aladdin for the Super Nintendo by Capcom or Disney for... or uh, Disney. Or Aladdin for the Sega Genesis uh, by Virgin Entertainment. Uh, okay, so most people will agree that the Sega Genesis one is the better game. I don't agree with that. I think it's a great game. I really, really do. How do I use this again? I used to speedrun this. How do I use this again? Woo! Go fast I go! <laughs> Speedrunning technique! Um, I actually like this game better. I think it's truer to the original source material. Um, it's, it's... Don't get me wrong, the Sega Genesis one is really good, and the, um, the animation is unreal for the Sega Genesis. Like, I'm jealous in that sense. This still looks really good. This has the Capcom touch that I really like. So, you know, if I have to choose one, it's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be... Uh, this one. Uh, out of either of them. One up, thank you. There's nothing over here? Really? Okay. But yeah, so anyways, I used to speedrun this game. Uh, way back in the day, I had the world record for not very long, to be really honest, as really early in speedrunning days, where I don't think people took it as serious as they do now, so like, there were mistakes everywhere. That being said, I did, um, I don't know if I still use it, but I'm the one who, thank you for Scarab, um, uh, who, who did a technique against Jafar, um, the first fight against Jafar, that even the tool assistant speedruns did not use. Uh, my speedrun was the first one to do that, at least, like, widely known anyways. Um, which was pretty cool. I did like the game a lot, uh, so I, I liked playing around with it a lot. I'm not nearly as good as I used to be, so. Damn it! Oh, well, there goes my perfect friggin' red gem run. I'm not getting the best ending, but, oh, not, not a big deal. There's, I think, like, ten red gems per, like, world, I guess. This was not, like, the first world. This was just the first level of the first world. Um, I was gonna try to go for it, but if I don't do it, not a big deal. Uh, break time. Oh, Robin Williams, we miss you. That's the genie. Let's try to get for that two up. I have no idea if that did it. Or, yeah, two up. 
I think Genie is another continue, but I'd rather have one-ups than continues, man. Or maybe I'll get to continue. No, okay, we're still going. Stars, I have no idea what they're for. Uh, okay, I'm okay with two up. That's what I wanted. Great animation here. Again, not as good as the Sega Genesis one, which was fantastically well done. But hey, I'll take this. This is still great. Capcom animation is still top animation for the Super Nintendo. Look, look at this. It still looks great. The music is so good. Oh, I've said before, I listen to video game soundtracks uh, on a regular basis. This is one of my favorites. I just love it. Apples are not health, by the way. Uh, hearts are health. Apples, you can actually throw them. I've got 70 of them right now. Boink! Like that. And you can... Uh, oh, bread. Oh, bread is health, yes. Um, I think turkeys also. Um, hearts are like extra health containers. Which is still really cool. Um, I don't know why I'm going to still go for some red gems. There's not really a point to it, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not nearly as good at this as I used to be. Actually, uh, when I speed run the game, I didn't know that, that was a technique you could do. Uh, was the, um, like that thing. You go a little bit faster or a little bit farther or something like that. Which is pretty cool. But, I just did this. <laughs> like a boring guy. Uh, also, if you land, uh, these are just speed running text, just random things that no one's going to care about. Uh, if you land from a really high, uh, like a high, like tall area, you'll buckle your knees when you land. But if you do the, um, the cloth just right, then you actually um, will ignore that animation. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, I love this game. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Question of the day is, of course, which one do you like better? the Genesis version of Aladdin or the Super Nintendo Aladdin. There is no wrong answer. Um, it, this is one of those things that I don't think people should fight about. I think both are fantastic games. And if you're unwilling to play one of the games because of your love for another one, that's really lame of you and you're losing out on something just super good because you're being stubborn in that sense. It's like, what do you look good with Mario or Sonic? Well, I like Mario better, but that doesn't mean I won't play a Sonic game. I love them. They're great. Well, <laughs> some of them are great. So... Yeah, we're going to have a good time with this one. Uh, I hope I'm still decent at it. I mean, I'll beat it. But it's been it's been a long time since I've sat down and played it. Oh, there we go. That's what I meant. The buckling of the knees there. Whoops. Whee! Shnump there. Ah. Uh, my uh, muscle memory is definitely not in the speedrun mode. So I even if I wanted to right now, I could not get through these levels the way I used to be able to do it. But um, whatever. Still having fun. Also, I love how you get the... Whoa! From, um, oh, I forget his name now. I feel bad. He's uh, the boyfriend from Full House who did the voice for him. Uh, he did a great job. I liked Aladdin a lot when I was a kid. When I was a kid, this was probably my favorite um, Disney movie. It's not anymore. Um, oh, my God. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that was really close. Thank God you have the, the ability to grab a ledge like that. Um, yeah, I, I think the reason why I like this one more than the Sega Genesis one, like, it was cool that he has sword in Sega, but, like, he only uses a sword in one scene of the friggin' movie. This is about acrobatics and stuff. I think that just, again, that's what's more um, Aladdin. But anyways, enough about talking about the two of them. They're both fantastic games. Um, I will unfortunately be sad to say I will not be playing the Genesis version for Disney Month uh, this time. I don't own the, uh, the Genesis version, weirdly enough. I was looking through the collection. I was like, I'm fairly certain I have it. I don't. I completely made a mistake. Um, so I really wanted to do both, um, and I don't have enough time, unless, like, my local, um, my local friggin' game shop has it, or someone's willing to, like, get it for me quickly, um, I don't have the ability to get it done before Disney Month is over, um, that doesn't mean I won't play it later, I'm still gonna play it, uh, when I finally do get it, it's just when, do, when will I get it, basically, um, but if I order online now, it will not reach, um, here, beforehand. Whatever this guy, I like how it's the guy from the movie. Um, hit him, bam, like that. When he starts swishing wildly, hit him with an apple. That'll take him out of the animation, so you can kind of get a hit on him. But yeah, I like how they used him. Um, he's in the movie, man. Like, I love that. I think this guy was voiced by shit. <laughs> I, oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to die. Um, he's voiced by, I think, Jim Cummings. I know that, um, the guard, um, the 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 the, 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 the Captain of the Guards is voiced by Jim Cummings. Uh, so I would be surprised if more people were voiced by Jim Cummings. He voices everyone. So, Yay! I, and the fact that Abu's in this, he follows you around. I didn't even mention that. He follows you around. It's so great. Oh, amazing game. It is short. This is one of those that, like, if I had gotten this as a kid for 60 bucks, this would not have disappointed me. That's just how good the quality of this game is. Uh, there's a lot of short games I complain. Like, oh, poor kid who got this when they were young. No, this game... 
thank you, Mom and Dad, if I had gotten this. But I, it's actually one of the first games I got for the collection, to be honest. Together, Aladdin and Jasmine escape the Sultan's guards and run to Aladdin's home high above Agrabah. <laughs> Abu there. Abu voiced by Frank Welker. I love that. Uh, there they enjoy the view and discuss their dreams for the future. He voices a lot of animals and stuff. I think he's the voice of Megatron, the original Transformers, too. Unfortunately, they are found by the guards who drag Aladdin off to the... Palace Dungeon. And Jasmine back to her father, the Sultan. <laughs> Aladdin is thrown into the deepest cell of the dungeon. But all he can think about is the beautiful princess. I think about getting out. A strange old man appears, offering to set Aladdin free if he'll do awful prison things to him. Come on an adventure to the Cave of Wonders. That's that a double meaning now. Glad to get out of prison, Aladdin doesn't suspect that the old man is actually Jafar in disguise. And under the Cave of Wonders. Yeah, we're already there. Whee! Love it. Such good music. It's such Capcom music, too. Um, like I, My buddy Parker probably knows what I mean when I say that. Oh, shit. That was... Yeah. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That was his death. Uh, yeah, your health stays. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think my buddy Parker would know what I'm talking about. How Capcom has a very specific sound. And I simply adore it. I simply adore it. Boink. Oh, shit. Yeah, hold the jump button, Phil. Hold the jump button. It's been a long time. It's been a long time for Phil. I don't play my old retro games nearly as much as I used to. Probably because I have the channel. I know that sounds like I'm knocking the channel, but I'm not. Um, the reason why I get to play the games I get to play is because of the channel, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, the channel gives me reason to play games, so I'm happy. Watch over the scorpion. Boink. Yeah, I saw it coming. Ah! Ah, damn it. No, I want that. Yeah, I'm not used to getting these secrets anymore because of old speedrunning stuff. Oh, there, oh, it was just a... Well, it's still fun. I want you. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. I still got it. I doubt I'll game over. I'm getting lives pretty well, so... Yeah, there we go. Um, come on. There we go. I'll see if I can get at least one world or chapter or whatever you want to call it with all the um eh, no damn it well never mind not with this one uh because i don't know what happens if you get them all so i'm just curious part of me is curious so <laughs> oh abu where should we go where should we go i love that Whee! oh look at that it's so cool there were no skeletons in Latin. well there were they just weren't enemies Walking swords. Oh well, you gotta take your um your liberties somewhere to make a Vigigma game, so. Hello carpet. I think most people know this, but the carpet in the original Latin um was a fully well not fully, sorry. He had a CG texture on a hand-drawn character. And that's very cool. I loved that when I was a kid. That was a really cool little trivia when I learned that. Ah, oh, awesome. Well wait, time for some Disney Aladdin trivia. I guess we already just had one. Um, what's another one? I guess, um, in the original Aladdin, the original, uh, pitch for Aladdin was that the peddler at the beginning of the movie, which I kind of voiced at, like, at the beginning of, of this Let's Play, uh, it's voiced by, um, by Robin Williams. Oh, what does this do? Extra continue. I'm guessing extra continue. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, please. Give me more health. Uh, if you get a bunch of, I think it's a hundred uh, rubies or gems or whatever, you'll also get another um, heart. Anyways, um, yeah, the peddler is voiced by, oh God, by Robin Williams. Um, so the original pitch was that he was going to be secretly the genie at the end of it. They didn't go with that. Um, shit. They ended up um, not really doing much with them. He does come back in Aladdin 3. Uh, by the way, I will also say that Aladdin is the the best trilogy of... Um, in Disney, uh, a lot of the Disney animation had, um, directed to VHS back in the day, um, sequels that usually weren't very good. I think Aladdin was the best one. All three are great. Uh, I mean, friggin' hell, the, the villain in the second one is voiced by Jason Alexander. Yes, please. Yeah, we're getting tons of one-ups. Not a hard game. 
Still fun, though. Uh, other trivia. Other trivia. Other trivia. Um, let's see. What can I think of? Oh, uh, also in the original... I'm dead. In the original pitch for the movie, uh, Aladdin had a mother. I think this is, again, a fairly known, uh, well-known piece of trivia. Uh, yeah, Aladdin's mom was going to be a character. And um, they cut her out because I guess they just didn't like her. But she had her own song. Um, I think Alan Menken did the music for this too, just like he did in Beauty and the Beast. Um, and the song was like called My Boy or something like that. Um, it's not an amazing song, I'll be honest. I guess Alan Menken or whoever it was, um, a lot of their songs got cut from the final movie. Um, I don't know many of the other ones, um, but that is... I already got... I already went up here. What am I doing? There we go. Um, but yeah, the one by the mom isn't super great. Um, and as awful as it sounds, I'm glad they killed the mom off because it meant that they could bring in the dad for the third movie, which is voiced by Gimli uh, from Lord of the Rings, whose name I can't remember all of a sudden. Um, ah, shit, I feel really bad now. He's a super nice guy, too. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was really, really cool. Yep. You can go down below this stuff. There, there's stuff down there. I'm not going to do it. It's been so long that I'll probably just end up dying, to be fair. So I'm just going to stay up here. Oh, there's the lamp. Don't touch it. Oh, no, wait. The lamp is fine. Don't touch the rest of the stuff. Abu! No! He's always got the surfer. <laughs> not so fast you far. You know. <laughs> Infidels. Oh, it's a shame that the thing doesn't melt. That was chapter two. Very short. Very short. Now we have everyone's favorite level. Everyone hates this level, by the way. Um, it is the escape from... Oh, it's two. The escape from uh, the Cave of Wonders. What we got? One more story, yeah. As soon as Abu touches the gem, which is funny because I was collecting gems the whole level, the cave begins to collapse. They're going to have to get out of there. Thanks, narrator. <laughs> we know that they have to get out of there. Yeah, auto scroll. This this level this level itself isn't that bad. It's um it's the next one. I remember a lot of kids my age uh, when I was growing up had trouble with the escape sequence with the carpet. That's not too difficult. I say that I'll die four times. I'm calling it right now. Damn, I missed that. Oh well, definitely not getting the gems this time. I'm not getting the gems, Bentley Bear. Wow, Aladdin's a little bit more slippery than I remember. <laughs> like. He doesn't stop on a dime like I'm used to in, uh, in I was going to say Aladdin games, in uh, Capcom games. But, hey, relearning. Woo! Yeah, I, I, when I did Let's Play this game, it was a long time ago. It was 2005, I believe. Um, my record's been destroyed a million times now, but it was fun. I'm glad I did it. I should have... It's one of those that I've been meaning to put, like, ever since I started the channel to put my speedruns of that. But I only ended up putting... One speedrun up, and I think that was Sonic 2. And that was it. Did I put another one? Oh, and Mega Man the Wily War. Or, not Wily Wars. Mega Man and uh, in Dr. Water's Revenge. I did that one too. Oh, I want you. The first level, I think, always has a scarab, which is what activates the bonus level. Shit. Don't care. <laughs> okay. I find the music here, there's a part that almost sounds like they're saying it's the Animaniacs theme. It's like, we're Animaniacs. Careful here. Ugh. I'm, not, I'm just avoiding this time. I just want to survive. It, right there, we're Animaniacs. Ah! Oh, damn. Oh, thank God it's not instant death. I'm okay with that. I think in my run I fell in there a couple times, too. Because it was an instant death. But the game has an interesting uh, thing for speedruns just because of the fact that shit. That you have to route your gems properly to kind of refill your life. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. There you go. That wasn't the hard one. It's the next level. That's a little harder. And bring. Let's get a. Let's get another. Let's get another. Um, what's his face? <laughs> um, genie. Or two up. I'm okay with that. Come on, something good. This takes a little bit of time, a little bit more time than I'd like. Oh, at least we get the two up. Okay, good. Shit, no, no. What did the star do? Oh, the star gives me continues. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm not dying here. I'm not. I'm not getting game over. Game over. There we go. Here we go. Everything kills you in one hit. So be careful. Ooh, I'm a little slidey here too. Ooh, I don't like it. 
Okay. Oh man, I forget how this level is. I think it's the um, I think it's the Genesis one that has like arrows and it points you to like you need to go up, you need to go down, and it's fairly difficult. I will say this: the Genesis one, if you want a challenge, the Genesis one is much more of a challenge than this game is. This is definitely the um, the easier one. They both share a lot of similarities. Obviously, they're based off the same movie. Um, and they're both very well done. Was that it? Wow, that was easier than I thought. Okay, yay! Next level's everyone's favorite, though. And what I like is that both the Super NES version and the Genesis version all have their own takes on this next level, which was very, very cool. Uh, the Genesis version suffers from the whole where the hell do I go syndrome. This does not suffer from that, thankfully. Uh, but they're very cool either way. Aladdin and Abu escape and deliver the lamp to Jafar. But he tricks them and seals them into the cave. Fortunately, Abu cleverly stole the lamp from Jafar. Yeah, the movie would have been very different if that didn't happen. Thank you, Abu. In order to read the writing on the old lamp, Aladdin rubs it with his... Sleeve. He doesn't have sleeves. And poof! A genie appears and declares that Aladdin is his new master. But first, he invites Aladdin into the lamp. Yeah, this, this part does not take... The next two levels don't take place in the movie, but you needed to pad it a little bit. This is fantastic. I love this level. Look at this shit. This is great. Music's also fantastic. But yeah, super great. We gotta get this bread. Jump on genie things. Everything's genie. It looks so great. There's so much imagination here. The music is so good. It's my absolute favorite level when I was a kid. You can't blame me, man. Look at this. So good. Uh, but yeah, the the um, the Genesis version also had a level inside of Genie's uh, lamp, which was very cool. It reminds me a little bit of Earthworm Jim, weirdly enough. Um, can I get this? Uh, please? Okay, good. And there's Genie himself. Hello. This is all random. I believe it is anyways. Sometimes he gives you... There we go. Let's say he gives you other things than just the clouds. There's cards, which I like. I like the cards. It's a cool idea. And there's a... Uh, Abu in the background on carpet. Oh, man. I'm nostalgia nerding out over here. It's been so, so great. I'm glad I'm doing Disney Month just to play these games again. I'm so happy. Careful. That was a good one. Get that. I gotcha, Gem. I saw you. I saw you. You can't escape Phil. There we go. I think this might... I'll try for this one to be the one where I get all the gems. Oh, did I not get the scarab? Oh, I must have missed it. Damn. Oh, well, whatever. Not a big deal. Watch over the balloons. Oh, no. I love that. Pops. Oh. Not getting much commentary from me. I'm just going, ooh, ah, ooh, <laughs> about everything. But that's what happens when you get an excitable man-child to play video games. And that is what I am. I'm a man-child. Oh, God. Ooh, that was close. Oh, God, no. We're good. We're fine. I have no idea what these are, what they're supposed to be. They're very cool looking. I never knew what they were. Careful here. I love the acrobatics. Like I said, I think that's what the appeal for me on the Genesis version. Oh, here's the Scarab, I think. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know why there's tornadoes. I think that's the weird one. Oh, shit. No, come back. Shit. Did I get you? Yeah, I got you. I heard that. Ah, shit. Uh, watch ya. There we go. Nope, grab on. Good. Good. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm gonna wait this out. Oh, no. I thought there'd be a red... Oh, well. Remembering incorrectly, that's okay. You still love me, I hope. And John will call me up later and go, Oh, to answer your question, of course I still love you. And I'll be like, Ah, thanks, John. <laughs> he's a good guy. He'll call me up and answer, like, my questions of the day, but he won't say that that's what he's doing. So I'll be like, I'll see it's like, Oh, John's calling. I'm like, Hey, John, how's it going? And he'll be like, Pumpernickel. I'm like, What? So, like, oh, that's, I'm answering your question of the day. <laughs> like, oh, okay. He's a great guy. John Lewis, great guy. He's one of my supporters on, on the Patreon. Patreon. I played Joe Mack for him. Good kid. Getting just a one-up? No, getting not. Just a heart. Probably just refills me. Probably doesn't give me a full heart. Because then we'll be the point of the genie. Yeah. That's definitely the worst one to get, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. He doesn't even do the... Yeah! Aw. Such a good level. Oh, man. 
Yeah, there's some really good tech. You can just jump like crazy fast up this thing. Oh, I messed that up. I didn't get the, the, the cycle. You know, there's a global cycle going on. I didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't get the right sub-pixel. So, you know, when I make a mistake, I'm just... It's, it's RNG manipulation. Don't worry about it. Don't pay attention to the crazy man behind the curtain. Wrong Disney movie. I guess the original Wizard of Oz wasn't a Disney movie. The one with, um... Uh... What's-her-face from 70s show. There we go. Phew! Careful. Careful! Oh, this makes me want to sing along. If I was not playing this with you guys, I would be singing this. Yeah. Ah, you can make those jumps. I'm like trying to think of my old speedrun days. I know I've been talking about that a lot this episode, but hey, that's what I think of. Can I make this? Thank you. Hope I'm doing good with my red gems. How much are they worth? I don't even know. Greens are obviously worth one. And what are reds worth? I want to pay attention. I got 27 right now. Oh, oh well, I'm not going to see you. Oh, there we go. Come on. Thank you. Oh, three. Okay. For some reason I was like, it's either two or five. Oh, this is the one I don't like. Nope, nope, nope. But I got it. That's all that matters. How the hell was I supposed to do that? This is right here. That does that count as gotten? I hope so. Wow, you go fast with them. Um, you suddenly jump forward. How did I not notice that speed tech? In, uh, when I was playing this, my god. I guess, again, back then, you just didn't notice that shit. It wasn't nearly as detailed as it is now. And that is it. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, the stuff. Oh, my god! I almost fell. I, almost, I didn't think I was gonna grab that. I freaked myself out. Okay. Woo! Um, I'm making a prediction right now, by the way. I think this one and my Lion King. Yes, I'll be playing Lion King if I haven't already. I don't know where I am on this. I have no idea what, what order I'm doing these anymore. Um, I I believe those two will be my um, most watched. Um, they might be the only two that garner outside attraction from my usual my usual viewers. I did it. Does it matter? It does not. Cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's no boss for this one. Kind of a shame. Well, I guess there's only been one boss so far. With the help of the genie and the magic carpet, Aladdin escapes from the Cave of Wonders and flies back towards Agrabah. I'm just going to quickly check up on Jim, make sure he's still sleeping. Unfortunately, Abu cannot sit still, and as he scampers across the... Oh, he's still sleeping. Good, good. Uh, carpet is blown overboard into the desert. Yeah, this next level is definitely not in the original game. When Aladdin swoops down to rescue the playful monkey, he discovers that Abu has disappeared into the ruins of ancient pyramid, of an ancient pyramid, not just specifically just ancient pyramid. Aladdin decides to enter the pyramid and find his friend. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you could just wish from genie. <laughs> So there's no level not in there, obviously. Um, now, weirdly enough, I, I get why you'd want to add more levels. Um, don't need a bread. I like how the bread is shaped like the bread in the movie, too. Uh, do there's other parts. Like, the next level is the last level, and that is... Uh, well, actually, the next level is a very fun mini-game level, which is cute. Um, but the last level is, obviously, the palace, um, with Jafar already have taken it over. Now, okay, fine, but why couldn't you have done something like have a small level that's you entering the palace? Then... Uh, just like in the movie, you maybe you do like a half fight with Jafar, um, and then he whisks you away into the Arctic, like in the movie, and then the Arctic is like a fun level where you have to find carpet to get back. I, I would have been cool. I would have played that. So I find there was a bit of a missed opportunity there. I mean, it's not really a big deal. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, bitch. Um, but whatever. Still fun. Still fun mechanics. Maybe they couldn't think of anything fun for the ice mechanics. Or they just didn't, you know, they just didn't want to. Which is perfectly fine, too. Shit, I'm bad at jumping at that. You cannot grab the edges of the, the um... Uh, shit? Of the, um... The sand, like, waterfall, or whatever you call it. So any, any edge, like here, for example, and right over here, you cannot grab those if you fall off, so be very careful. I will say out of all the Disney games, this is the one I know the most about. It's probably my favorite old-school Disney game. Um... I guess you were going to say, like, what's your favorite new or, like, what, o overall? I don't know, man. Uh, it's just, I guess it depends on what you consider a Disney game. Like, I'd probably say Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, which I really like. Which is weird because I'm not a big Kingdom Hearts fan, uh, despite the fact that I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is so much fun. 
Uh, but I don't know. I, I've never really played Disney Infinity. I have some of them um, and the games, but it's the fact that you need the friggin' character figures to play that game properly it makes me not want to play. It's like Skylanders. I played the first one. I really liked it. But owning all those things, just frig off with that shit. Another friggin' continue. That's crazy. Like, that's, that's insane. Like, that's almost a third of the board. Alright. I... There's three levels to this, I'm pretty sure. Shit. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you, okay, so your apples will take those guys out. Um, it's it's the humanoid-style enemies that only get stunned. Um, but whatever. Oh, no, whoops. Speedrun mode. I want, yes. Bloink. Thank you. Heart containers. I like the idea that the gems gives you um, the heart containers. Oh, what's over there? Eh, turkey. Turkey. Oh, why not? I'll take that too, man. Absolutely. Ah, damn. Can't believe I missed that. Okay, good. We're doing okay. We're doing alright. Definitely gonna be under an hour. This was never gonna be a over an hour game, so... You know. I wouldn't... I wouldn't eat that, man. It's been here for probably a long time. How it's cooked. Like, it's still... I don't know. Oop, that was bad. Careful. I hate that gem. I go for it. Ah! Oh, I went for it too. Ah, oh, damn it. My arrogance. <laughs> oh, damn you. Oh, well. Let's just make it back there. It's not one of those games I'm going to skip back to the places. It's, just, it's not like it's long. Oh, damn. Can I get another one of those? There's no way. Oh, there's a friggin'. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, whoop, there we go. Jeez, it really has been that long. I'm glad I, I, I decided to be okay with not getting a 100%. Um, I believe there's a, a, there's a different ending, slightly different. But man, it's a, it's a fun little challenge. I like, that's like my favorite type of challenge, to be honest, it's an optional challenge. Uh, I'm okay with games being easy. I really don't give a shit. Um, I just think it's fun when it's difficult if you want it to be difficult. Kirby games are great for that. Kirby games are friggin' easy, man. But you know what's fun? When Kirby games get difficult because you want to do stuff outside the norm. That's fun for me. And... Ah, damn it! Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, there we go. Yay. Last one. Now it's all just traps and stuff. Also, I just realized, why are there soldiers in here? Like, Jafar's specific soldiers... Oh, actually, right now, um, Jafar hasn't taken over yet. Because he doesn't have the lamp. I do. So, those are Sultan's soldiers. What are they doing? You know, weirdos? Careful. Bad damn. Eh. Ah, that was so bad. Whatever. That was also bad. Oh, whatever. I've got so much life. Yay. We're almost to... Oh, you dodged that. That's cool. Where the boss... This is super difficult. Very careful, guys. Uh, careful. Gotcha. Oh my god. Hey, boo. Alright, let's go. And you better believe I'm counting that in my boss compilation when I finally get to this. <laughs> A whole four seconds to edit, just to be silly, because that's the way I am. Stage five clear. On to the last stage. Ba bum 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 bum. I'm awesome. Yay. Oh, the password's like. Jasmine Jafar, Sultan Jasmine. Like, easier to remember, I guess. Plus, it doesn't need to be difficult, so. Oh, yeah. I forgot it's not the last level yet. Using one of his three wishes, Aladdin has the genie turn him into a... To a what? I never watched the movie. Prince. Outfitted with a magnificent caravan. <laughs> a 2006 caravan. Aladdin, now Prince Ali Ababwa, returns to Agrabah. With tiny hands. He has tiny hands there. As a prince, he can now try and win the hand of the princess in Mortal Kombat. Oh, in marriage. Sorry, my mistake. And so you get... Um, and I'm glad they did this. You get a whole new world. Um, I love that. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can't die here. It's just get the... Um, get the Gems Bentley Bear. Um, I think it's a good idea. It gives you a second to, like, breathe a little bit. Um, I really like it. Even as a kid, like, I was like, I don't really get why it's here gameplay-wise, but, like, I like it because I like 
Aladdin. Um, I like the movie. I like the idea of this. I'm gonna miss all those red gems, aren't I? I've already missed. Yeah, I've already missed like three, I bet. Oh well. Oh, there's one. There we go. Hoping to get more, um, to get max life. So this is all one level, it's just this. But I think it's cute. Plus the um, the level lasts as long as the song does, which I think is really cute. I don't know. I think it's adorable. Uh, there's one up here. I remember that one. Ah, I missed it. You son of a bitch. But yeah, like these parts of the movie are important. So I like how they add them. It's not just like, it's got to be action. It's got to be adventure. It's like, nah, man. There's a love story in there. And this has a way of like putting gameplay with story, which I think is... Really cute and well done and clever. Off we go. Yay! Oh, there's... Ah, oh, there's fireworks down there. I wanted to watch them. I bet I got six. I don't think I got a lot of those red gems. They're all over the place. Oh, that was better than I thought, actually. Cool. All right, here we go. Last level. Just when things are going great for Aladdin, Iago steals the lamp. Jafar, who is now master of the lamp, uses his new magic powers to send a postcard to his mother. Aladdin off to the ends of the earth. See, that should have been a level. Should have been a level. And maybe it was planned to be a level. They just didn't have enough time or something. Once more, with the help of faithful Abu and the magic carpet, Aladdin returns to Agrabah, ready to do battle with the evil sorcerer Jafar. Abu, is your head on backwards? It, like, got snapped. And save Jasmine. Yeah, I guess it's important. I guess. Um, I actually really like the um, live-action Aladdin. Um, like all live-action Disney movies, um, they're usually met with uh, derisive, you know, like, it's... it's they're not, they don't hit very well most of the time. They make a lot of money, but uh, for the most part, most people don't really like them. And I don't blame them. They're not all great. Uh, but I like the Aladdin one. There's enough differences to make it interesting. Um, songs weren't always great. I will admit I liked Will Smith as Jafar. Or as Jafar, jeez. Actually, that would have been cool. As the genie. I think when they allowed him to be himself, he was really good. It's when he had to basically just do the same lines that Rob Williams did. That's when, like, it, it didn't feel great. Uh, but when he was able to be himself, I like that a lot. Um, I think Jasmine, did. she was great. Uh, she had her own song. It was fantastic. Uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. I, I think the worst part, actually, of the movie was Jafar. He was... I feel bad for the actor. I don't know what else he's in, but, like, he's so downplayed. And that might have been his direction. Maybe he wanted to go bigger with him, but, man, he's dull. He was bad. So I felt bad about that, because I, I really like Jafar. He's one of my favorite Disney villains. So that's kind of a shame, but whatever. I have so many apples. And first level done. Two more little levels left. And then the fight with Jafar. The showdown with Jafar. Hello, Iago. Bye, Iago. Hi, Iago. Hi, Iago. There's a red. I saw you up there. Will I get you? Probably not. Oh, really? Will you not fire upwards? Fine. I'll just bunch you. Bunch you. Bounce on your head. I'm combining words again. I've been melting words a lot lately. I was going to say punch and bounce. It came out as bunch. I do that a lot more now. I'm getting old. I'm worried I'm going to like lose my mind as I get older. I actually do worry about that. <laughs> it's not me being funny. It literally is something I'm worried about. But I'm having fun for now, I guess. That was a freaking fast-ass level. Jeez, okay. I don't really need this bonus level, but might as well, I guess. I'm just going to hammer that button and see what I get. The turbo finger. So the first thing I get. There we go. See what it is. It starts on genie. Maybe I'll get genie. Nope. <laughs> Probably will not. Mmm. Two up. Mmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're definitely not getting that um that game over. Where am I at? Like nine lives now. Well, eight. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 
All right, here we go, last level. We can do it. I mean, I can do it. I don't know if you can do it. I don't know you. Actually, I might know you. I don't know, I have a lot of people that comment that I do know, so more than likely know you. I'm gonna die. Oh shit, I was gonna bounce into you, but then I sucked. Well, well, I almost died there too. Oh, red gem down there, I ain't going for. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, shit, jump on you. Give me something good! Oh! Well, one ups. That's fine, I get nine lives. Whew! There's probably a turkey down there, I'm gonna risk it. Fire doesn't look super great. It looked way better in Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, it's just apples! Oh, I'm so dead! Oh, I'm not dead! Whew! And turkey? Nothing, really. Wow, I didn't know that could happen. Come on. Is the turkey right before Aladdin? Or before Aladdin? Before Jasmine? Or before, ja before Jafar? Jeez, Phil. I do not remember who is in this game or what the story is, apparently. Here's the turkey. I remember you. Ha! Ah! No, I didn't make it. <laughs> well, whatever. Pretty sure I start here ish. Oh, damn. All the way at the beginning? Really? Aww. Well, play Iago. I guess it's not really that far. I'm just being a butt. Stop getting hit, Phil. I know this is an easy children's game, but at least try a little bit. Poink. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I guess it wasn't very far. There we go. Get a little speed. Almost back there. Getting a hit. That's fine. There we go. Basically back. Now I can really get the turkey. Perfect. Um, throw on it. There we go. Ah, shit. Ah, damn it. There we go. You can just jump over onto the spikes. Not really a big deal because we're at the end. This is it, guys. Get this if you need it. Oh, that's like the last friggin' link. Like, that was a hard one to get. All right. Here's Jaffer. I'll see if I can do the thing that I was talking about. Oh, whoops. Oh, I guess I have to go to the end of the... I was like, why isn't he here? It's been a long time since I've done this, so I might not get it. There we go. Ah! Oh, I didn't do it. Okay. You see what I was going for there. You just kind of hit yourself. And you need... Like, you get hit almost every time if you don't do it exactly right. But you can do it in a way that... um that keeps you up there without getting hit again. Yeah, I'm not pulling it off. That's okay. It's not really a big deal. Careful. It's very easy to not get hit. <laughs> Thank you for making... Um... Ah, damn. How did I not get you there? That was bad of me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's not super difficult. Um... But I love, I love when the enemies basically make their own demise. Oh, that was friggin' close. Holy crap. Oh, dang. Really, Phil? There we go. All right. End of that level, and then we have the last boss. If you remember from the movie, he's a snake. He's a big old snakey boy. Congratulations. No. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, I really did knock over the red gems there. Here we go, final battle. With my 89 apples. Don't want to waste them all. Oh, whoops. I keep forgetting that you gotta actually, like, get through the screen like that. A little screen transition. I got you, Jafar. Eh. Damn. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very cool. I like the, um... Like, how the neck works with them. It's very Sega Genesis. In my speedrun, I, like, beat him or something. Or I was close to beating him. And I threw an apple at him, and it slows the game down so much. I'm pretty sure I lost, like, three seconds or so just from that. I was so dumb. Okay, go up. Come on. His body goes up. Okay, well, I'll just do that instead. Body go up. Thank you. I don't know if there's RNG in this sense, or he always does this. I'm not 100% sure. Ah, damn. Good, still got him. No clue when he hits he takes. Boink. Apples will not damage him. 
And ah oh, damn. Eh. Almost dead. Maybe an apple will help. Oh damn. And there we go. We did it. We can follow the fire all we want. Ow. Ow. Hooray! Go get the grill, Aladdin. You can do it. Throw your apples. All your ah oh, damn. Oh, oh no! This is kind of a weird thing. So, like, the game is done. You are, you have beaten the game. But I guess it just wants to be like the movie a little bit. So, whoa, uh, whoa. not so fast, Jafar. You thought you could outwit the most powerful being on Earth? Yes. I mean, I wasn't outwitting you. I was bouncing on your head. You're not as powerful as you think, Jafar. The genie has more power than you'll ever have. His power will not exceed mine for long. He does have a different voice when he's a snake, so, you know. Genie, here is my third wish. Make me an all-powerful genie. <laughs> I have no choice. Your wish is my command, master. Wow, really, really capturing Robin Williams there. With that writing. Yes, yes, I can feel the absolute power. That's not what he sounds like either. <laughs> the universe is mine to command, to control. Oh, he doesn't do it. What? What is happening to me? <laughs> you wanted the whole genie bit. You get a, the, the phenomenal cosmic power. Boop. In space. I can't believe they didn't write that into this game. Like, it's so perfect for it. Jasmine, I'm sorry I lied to you about being a prince. I know you had to do it because of that stupid law. I, I, all my acting is done for the day. <laughs> but I love you anyway. Aww. No problem. Use your third wish, ma Master. And z See that? All of a sudden, the writing's just bad. Like, call him Al. You are a prince again. Jasmine. That's not what he says. I do love you. That's, uh, I'm so picky about that stuff. I love you too, but I can't pretend to be something I'm not. I understand. Genie. My third and final wish is for your freedom. Because, like, the beginning, the prologue, they do such a good job of using the actual lines from the movie. Uh, wow, I'm free, I'm free. Oh, does that feel good? Time to hit the road and see the world. No exclamation mark. Whee! <laughs> I do like that, though. <laughs> it just goes... Oh, that's cute. Gosh, Genie, I'm sure gonna miss you. Actually, I think that's the line from the movie. Me too, Al. Oh, there you go, call him Al. No matter what anyone says... You'll always be a prince to me. <laughs> Great walk animation. Hmm, looks like we need a new law. <laughs> I'm also the, uh, the the judge from Phoenix Wright. From this day forward, the princess may marry whomever she chooses. Thank you, father. I choose him, Aladdin. Just call me Al. <laughs> yeah, he's got the goofy hat. This is wonderful. Come over here, guys. Big group hug. <laughs> Jasmine looks a little stoned there. And now I'm out of here. Look out, world. Here I come. Yeah, if I had phenomenal cosmic powers, I think that's what I'd do, too. Yay. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Yay. Can I control this? No, okay. No, I will not sing for you guys. <gasps> no, I'm just joking. I'm really not. Oh, thank you, Salary Man and Boo Boo Boo. <laughs> Capcom and their friggin' names. Oh, that was that was fun. I'm really happy to play this again. Um, this one and Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Those were really the two games that like prompted me to um, to do the Disney month. I just I really wanted an excuse to play them. Um, which I mean, to be honest, I didn't need an excuse. I have a friggin' YouTube channel. That's the excuse. So. I could have just done it, but I, I like the idea of doing the theme. It, it just made it funner, I guess. Plus, again, it, it's it's Tall Knob. Oh, man, you helped out with Magical Quest. It feels very similar, like the same team. Um, but yeah, I like the theme because it, it gives me a reason to play the other games, too. Because if I just suddenly just started playing a ton of Disney games out of nowhere, it just looks weird, I guess. I'm just like, you know what, screw it, Disney Month. That way it forces me to find a bunch of games, too. Even the ones that I normally would. Like, I probably wouldn't have played Bell's Quest. But Disney Month, so I get to. It's fun. Yay. 
What are you? Something Mitsu. Is that a scarab? Okay. It's your game. Play what you want. Or uh, put what you want for your name. Oh, thanks so much for joining me, guys. I I love this game. I love it so much. I was I was about to say top ten SNES games, but I re I realized no, not even close. That's just how good the SNES library is. Um, maybe top twenty. There's just so many damn good games that would make up. Jeez, if I ever did a top ten SNES games, people would be pissed. That's a problem with the SNES and like NES. There's just so many damn good games for those machines. Genesis too. Um, that you have to do like a top 20 or top 30 for it to like even like mention most of the games that are just amazing. There's just so many of them. Professor F, you also worked on um, Magical Quest. I like the idea of these little teams that all work together. You never really thought of that when I was a kid. Like, that these are real people working on these games together. And then you see them all like, oh, they're popping up and you get to, you get to know names. Shigeru Miyamoto was one of the first people whose name I, I knew in gaming. Will Wright was another one. Uh, I remember seeing his name uh, when I was a kid. And that's when it started, like, meaning something to me, I guess. That these were, like, real people. 47? Is that good? I don't freaking know. No, it's not good. I know that. Because there's um, 60 of them. Oh, wait. 70, I guess. Because the um, bonus stage would have counted. I don't think they count as a level. So... Anyways, guys, the end. Uh, thank you again so much for joining me. And um, I believe we still have more Disney Month. I doubt this is the last one I'm putting up. It's like only the fifth one I've recorded, so plenty more to come from, from there. I don't know. I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.